morning, Grace Church. Uh, so good to be with you again on this snowy December morning. Uh, thanks for taking the time to join us for another staff devotional. Uh, well, we are in another lockdown, and uh, I know it's so unfortunate, and many people are disappointed. I'm disappointed, and I'm sure there's also many frustrated, especially this time of year, Christmas time. It's a time we want to be with people, and we're not able to do that. But you know, this is a, a time of year to really get, then reflect on the birth of Christ and um, think about the many reasons why Christ came into the world. Of course, he came to bring us salvation, the most important reason he came into the world. But the Bible also teaches us that Christ came into the world to bring us hope. Now, what would the definition of hope be? Well, one definition is that hope is a desire for something with the expectation that we will eventually get it you know it's hard to go through life without hope when when we're young we we hope we'll get good grades in school uh we'll hope that we can uh, graduate and go to a good university or college or get a good job we hope to maybe start a family one day and and as we get older we we hope that we'll be able to maintain good health we hope for a good life for our children or our grandchildren we we hope that there'll be peace in the world. All these things we hope for. I think these days we, we hope that we'll be able to return to life that's somewhat normal again. But the hope that I want to talk about briefly today is, is not the hope we have for things in this world. It's not the kind of hope that we, we say, well, I hope tomorrow is going to be a nice day. It's a much greater concept of hope. It's a biblical concept of hope. And I want to read a passage from 1 Peter chapter 1. 1 Peter chapter 1, starting at verse 3, said, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. God promises a living hope. For us, that goes beyond the things of this life and of this world. And then this living hope, verse 4 says, is an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you. What is that hope? Well, it's kind of what Paul talks about in Colossians chapter 1 and verse 27. He says that God willed to make known. What are the riches of the glory of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory? You see, the hope we have, uh, this living hope, is the sure hope that we have that when we put our faith and trust in Christ, we have the guarantee of an eternity in heaven with him. That's the joy of the Christian life. That's, that's what I kind of talked about in my message on Sunday to know Jesus and to have his Holy Spirit living in us. Um, the verse that I read on Sunday, uh, another one was from Romans 15 and verse 13, where it talks about that the, the God of hope, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in what? In hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And, and that hope then gives us joy and peace things to be reminded of again at this Christmas time, things to be reminded of again when we're going through difficult times. You know, we, we talked about hoping for good things in life, good health, good jobs, having um, good things for our kids. But, but you know, there's, there's evil in the world. We, we live in a broken world, and, and the reality tells us that our health will fail. Uh, we will not live forever, right? People, people will also disappoint us. Um, maybe you're feeling lonely during this COVID period, especially in the lockdown time. Uh, maybe your health is not so good. You know, we live in a messy world. And you see that every day when you turn on the news, it sure doesn't make you feel joyful or feel at peace, right? It, it certainly, certainly isn't always hopeful. But the Bible talks about a different kind of hope. Uh, Paul says in Romans 5.5, 5, now the hope does not disappoint, the hope that we talk about from Scripture, because the love of God has been poured out 
in our hearts by the Holy Spirit he has given to us. God loved us and provided salvation for us through Jesus, and then through him and his spirit living in us, we have a real hope, a living hope. And that's what can bring us true joy and true peace in spite of living through a pandemic, in spite of a lockdown, so we can't celebrate Christmas like we usually do. The hope the Bible talks about is not like the deceptive, empty, false hope that the world offers us. The Bible talks about hope that is sure and certain. It's a real hope that we can have confidence in. Even when we have, in a sense, lost our hope in the things that the world offers us, because those things will just pass away. Uh, Hebrews 6.19 is a wonderful verse that says, In this hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast. Our hope in God is sure and steadfast. It's an anchor because God never changes. See, I trust that this will maybe help encourage you in a time when we're going through um, this pandemic and being in isolation and it's Christmas time and we're just discouraged. Let this message of hope encourage you in the days and in the weeks to come. Because we can have hope in times of trouble. We can have a real hope, even when things aren't going as planned. When you're feeling alone, when you're feeling discouraged, God is with you. You never have to say, well, I hope God is with me because he promises to be with us. He promises to never leave us or forsake us. He's with us. He's with you, even in the midst of a pandemic lockdown. And he promises to bring you joy and peace again this Christmas through your faith and trust in Jesus and the spirit that lives within you. And that is real hope. Well, thanks for watching again today and uh, look forward to seeing you again in the new year. Uh, next week we have our uh, Christmas Vacation Bible School and so we're going to be um, encouraging people to be watching those videos uh, the week leading up to Christmas and then we're going to take a break between Christmas and New Year and then we'll pick up again in the new year. So God's blessing to you and I do wish you a very blessed Christmas.